Well, we've reached southern Sweden and Skåne, and we're settling into our new cottage out in the countryside. We're getting close to midsummer, so we head on into the University City of Lund and head straight downtown to a midsummer celebration in an open air folk park called Kulturen. Um, it's kind of set up as a cute little turn of the century, maybe even earlier village, the town square, and lots of little buildings. But as you can see, the University Town of Lund is actually quite beautiful and picturesque to walk around. And well, here we are at Kulturen. You can see the midsummer pole ready to go, and everybody's flying the Swedish flag. It's quite the scene. There's lots of picnickers and families, uh, both Swedish and international, getting ready to celebrate midsummer with some song, dance, and of course the reason. But before the celebrations start, Audrey and Victoria and I, and Tanya of course, just to explore some of the buildings around the town square. They've been kind of set up in different ways. You can explore freely. There's some docents hanging out explaining old life ways in Sweden and uh, the meaning of the different features of the house. <laughs> are getting excited and ready to engage in the festivities set out for the day. Time. Everybody was invited to decorate the maypole. They handed out flowers, and the girls, of course, jumped in with the celebrations and added their own personal touches to the soon to be raised maple. Midsummer stall. And everyone else just uh, sitting and dance and have a good time. It's Midsommar Afton in Sweden. And now it's time for Smoke Udona. Ein, two, three. Smoke Udona, Smoke Udona. Hey Lucia, I'd say. Smoke Udona, Smoke Udona. Hey Lucia, I'd say. Hey Ölvon, hey Ölvon. Hey Svansa, how are they? Go, I got, 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 got,
Applaus i gruvorna! Hoppade! Hoppade gjorde ni på tippan Hoppade gjorde jag ja Hoppade gjorde alla som i ringen ja, Fortsätt hoppa, fortsätt hoppa, fortsätt hoppa så ja. We're just going to take a break but you're going to jump here We're going to be two bag, kvartal och fyra Keep jumping! Ja, nu kommer den bästa! Ni på tippan pussades gjorde jag Faster! Now the feet, step on up, step on up, step on up. Was it piece of wood? Any piece of wood? Shh, go! While the university is not in session during midsummer, uh, there were still plenty of students walking around, but Lund had a nice calm feel. It was a beautiful summer day as we made our way back to the car to head back to the cottage we rented out on the countryside. We had something coming up the next day that we needed to rest for. quite the family tradition so this Saturday we got up nice and early and headed out to the park in Mamba along the coast there. We run along and see the twisted torso. We did a 5k as a family and then explored a sleepy but pleasant um, Mamba. Quite hot and sweaty from our run, we decided to sneak a treat and went to the nearest press bureau and got ourselves some popsicles. The rest of the morning, we leisurely walked around Malmo and explored the squares and little alleyways, made our way through the castle grounds, the botanical gardens, and finally made our way back to the car.
southern Sweden is a different kind of beautiful. Uh, it's very much a flat, open, wide landscape with lots of farming and lots of these old mills. As you can tell, this is a major grain producing area and still today is a major grain producing area in southern Sweden. Just located amidst the wheat fields of southern Sweden. Uh, of course, a nearby church and a little village um, was on our way to our house. And of course, lots of farms. It was a beautiful place to stay while we explored Southern Sweden. And as much as I love the countryside, the big city beckoned for us. And if you don't know this, Malmö and Lund is really, really just a train ride away from the capital city of Denmark, Copenhagen, which we'll see in a day.